They basically leverage Transformers attention mechanism in the powerful StyleGAN 2 architecture to make it even more powerful. This is What's AI and I share artificial intelligence news every week. If you are new to the channel and would like to stay up to date, please consider subscribing to not miss any further news. Last week, we looked at DALI, OpenAI's most recent paper. It uses a similar architecture as GPT-3 involving transformers to generate an image from text. This is a super interesting and complex task called text-to-image translation. As you can see again here, the results were surprisingly good compared to previous state-of-the-art techniques. This is mainly due to the use of transformers and a large amount of data. This week, we will look at a very similar task called Visual Generative Modeling, where the goal is to generate a complete scene in high resolution, such as a road or a room, rather than a single face or a specific object. This is different from DALI, since we are not generating the scene from a text, but from a trained model on a specific style of scenes, which is a bedroom in this case. Rather, it is just like StyleGAN that is able to generate unique and non-existing human faces being trained on a dataset of real faces. The difference is that it uses this GAN architecture in a traditional generative and discriminative way with convolutional neural networks. A classic GAN architecture will have a generator trained to generate the image and a discriminator used to measure the quality of the generated images by guessing if it's a real image coming from the dataset or a fake image generated by the generator. Both networks are typically composed of convolutional neural networks, where the generator looks like this, mainly composed of downsampling the image using convolutions to encode it. And then, it upsamples the image again using convolutions to generate a new version of the image with the same style based on the encoding, which is why it is called style GAN. Then, the discriminator takes the generated image or an image from your dataset and tries to figure out whether it is real or generated, called fake. Instead, they leverage Transformers Attention Mechanism inside the powerful StyleGAN 2 architecture to make it even more powerful. Attention is an essential feature of this network, allowing the network to draw global dependencies between input and output. In this case, it's between the input at the current step of the architecture and the latent code previously encoded, as we will see in a minute. Before diving into it, if you are not familiar with transformers or attention, I suggest you watch the video I made about transformers. For more details and a better understanding of attention, you should definitely have a look at the video Attention is all you need from a fellow YouTuber and inspiration of mine, Yannick Kilcher, covering this amazing paper. All right. So we know that they use transformers and GANs together to generate better and more realistic scenes, explaining the name of this paper, GANsformers. But why and how did they do that exactly? As for the why, they did that to generate complex and realistic scenes like this one automatically. This could be a powerful application for many industries like movies or video games, requiring a lot less time and effort than having an artist create them on a computer or even make them in real life to take a picture of it. Also, imagine how useful it could be for designers when coupled with text-to-image translation, generating many different scenes from a single text input and pressing a random button. They use a the state-of-the-art style GAN architecture because GANs are powerful generators when we talk about the general image. Because GANs work using convolutional neural networks, they are by nature using local information of the pixels merging them to end up with the general information regarding the image, missing out on the long-range interaction of the faraway pixel for the same reason. This causes GANs to be powerful generators for the overall style of the image. Still, they are a lot less powerful regarding the quality of the small details in the generated image for the same reason, being unable to control the style of localized regions within the generated image itself. This is why they had the idea to combine transformers and GANs in one architecture they called Bipartite Transformer. As GPT-3 and many other papers already proved, transformers are powerful for long-range interactions, drawing dependencies between them and understanding the context of text or images. 
we can see that they simply added attention layers, which is the base of the transformer's network, in between the convolutional layers of both the generator and discriminator. Thus, rather than focusing on using global information and controlling all features globally, as convolutions do by nature, they use this attention to propagate information from the local pixels to the global high-level representation, and vice versa. Like other transformers applied to images, this attention layer takes the pixel's position and the style gain to latent spaces W and Z. The latent space W is an encoding of the input into an intermediate latent space done at the beginning of the network, denoted here as A, while the encoding Z is just the resulting features of the input at the current step of the network. This makes the generation much more expressive over the whole image, especially in generating images depicting multi-object scenes, which is the goal of this paper. Of course, this was just an overview of this new paper by Facebook AI Research and Stanford University. I strongly recommend reading the paper to have a better understanding of this approach, it's the first link in the description below. The code is also available and linked in the description as well. If you went this far in the video, please consider leaving a like and commenting your thoughts. I will definitely read them and answer you. And since there's still over 80% of you guys that are not subscribed yet, please consider clicking this free subscribe button to not miss any further news clearly explained. Thank you for watching.